cuántos somos ahorita. Vamos a ver. Todavía nos falta un par, ¿verdad? Okay, let's going to see. Guys, aquí eran 14 chicos, ¿verdad? Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Sí, se escucha. Hoy sí se escucha. Sí, se escucha. Ok, ok, ok. ¿Cuántos, uh, ¿Cuántos seremos en esta clase? Más o menos 15, creo. Ok, 15 o 7. Vamos a ver qué dice acá. 9, ah, éramos 15. Ok, ya vimos las 9 y 5, so um, we're going to start with this. There you go. Can you see my screen? No, not yet. There you go. Now, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's going to start here then. Okay, we're going to start from, from Lisette. Lisette, could you please read um, this sentence? Uh, in this session, Participants will listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. Excellent, are used. Oh, yes, there you go. Let's go to listen, please. First, we're going to listen this. It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. What happened here? I'm sorry a conversation about a city. Hi, welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, we're That's going to start. That's a really start. nice city. With yes, Lee Sanchez, could you please read here? So where are you from? Continue. El mismo de Eric o Carmen. O continuo la conversación. Ah, oh, okay. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You two are going to continue with this one. Van a hacer la conversación de aquí. Okay, so continue please, Jessly and Carla Maria. 
So where are you from, Carmen? I am from uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Whoa, I live here, that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there is are some fantastic beach hoods outside the city. Is it is, is there? No, it's not very expensive. Trees uh, are pretty reasonable. How about how big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I shall play a trick there sometime. Okay, excellent. But let me see. Repeat with me, everyone, please. I've heard. I I've heard. heard. Excellent, very good. Uh, weather, repeat with me, weather. 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 Fantastic beaches. Fantastic. Fantastic beaches. Okay. Uh, let me see what else. Pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. Again. Pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. Okay. Fairly big. Fairly big. Fairly big. Fairly big. Excellent. Very big. Now we're going to do it together. I'm going to start and then you're going to continue. It says, so where are you from, Carmen? Please repeat. Where are you from? Uh, where are you from, Carmen? Carmen. Excellent. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay. I heard that's a really nice city. I heard, I heard that's a that really nice city. city. The, the weather is great. The weather, weather is great. Is great. great. And there are some fantastic beaches. And, and there, there are, are some, some fantastic, fantastic beaches. beaches. Just outside the city. Just outside, Just outside the city. Okay. Ah, I need to say the city. 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 Okay. Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? It's not very expensive. It's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Prices are pretty reasonable. Okay. It's a fairly big city. It's, it's a fairly big city. city, but it's not too big. But it's, but not, it's not, not too big. Not too big. Not too big. Okay. I should plan a trip. I, I should, should plan a trip. Trip. Sometime. 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 Se los hice repetir para que todos aprendamos porque hay algunos que no podemos eh, la pronunciación de cuerda, pero sí es necesario que la practiquemos. Ok. Now let's going to continue here. Not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Ok, there you go. We're going to continue with the next video. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. 
It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. A adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a... Okay, first I'm going to um, do something here. Hold on, please. Strong statement. Hold on. Now, if you pay attention here, okay, this adverse in some way is like song, the adjectives, and another one, it is the adverbs. In this case, the adjectives are those which describe something, okay? For example, nice is an adjective, big is an adjective, expensive is an adjective. Los adjetivos son aquellos que describen algo, así como las cualidades o cualquier cuestión, ¿verdad? De la persona, de los animales, whatever, even in the actions. So, there comes something that is called the adverse. It says before the adjectives. So, if you, hear, if you check here, this is the adjective and it comes before. San Juan is really nice. Oh, it is a really nice city. Okay, both are Exactly correct. Okay, alguien escribe. Hold on, please. Turn your camera. Okay. Oh, it's Mr. Jason. Será Jason que conozco. No sé. Okay. Hold on, please. Hold on. Okay, there you go. So. If you can check here, once again, nice is referring to a, a, what a description here. It is an adjective, para que nos refresquemos un poquito más. An adjective describes the qualities and something about the person or something in general. And here we have the adverse, which describe in this case the, um, the adjective. It's fairly big. It is a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. Or it's not a very expensive place. Okay. Expensive is a description in some way. And very, it is doing much. Uh, how can I say this? Está haciéndolo aún más grande in some way. We're making like an emphasis. Yes, to say very. One thing is to say expensive, it is expensive. Then order is to say very expensive, that it grows more, right? Yes. And another one is just uh, in here, we are describing the thing. So it says why it comes before the adjectives. Now, we are going to repeat first the adverb, please. Repeat, repeat with me, extremely. 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 Okay, excellent. Very. 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 Really. 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 Pretty. Very, 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 okay. Um, fairly, fairly, fairly. Okay, let's fairly. continue with this one. Hold on, please. Aquí estoy, está un poquito. Yes, here is explaining how is it. Okay, there you go. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Now, just let me explain something. If it's true, both are adjectives, but we can use in different ways. For example, uh, my brother is tall. Yes, he is. 189, he is tall, yes, um, but my brother-in-law, it's very tall, it's muy alto, he's almost 190 something, okay, he's very tall, okay, so if you pay attention, one thing is that I'm describing, or let's go out from this one, okay, let's going to say, like, uh, I'm tall, me, I'm tall, I'm 169, Mido 169. Yes, I'm tall. My brother 
is very tall. He's 189, 1.89. So one is tall, yes, in the standards of Salvadorians, he's tall. My brother is very tall, and I am making an emphasis. So that idea, and the moment estoy describiendo, más aún, with this word, I'm describing, I'm going, I'm doing more emphasis on the adjective. Now let's going to continue. Okay. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. What did she say? It is not a strong statement to make an emphasis there. We're making a strong uh, statement or very uh, an emphasis of that. Once, once again, okay. Uh, my brother is, I'm tall. Yes, 169. My brother is very tall. I am making up emphasis. Yes, that is very tall. Okay. Now it says, her car is expensive. Yes, it's not the same. Aquí lo mismo que le estoy diciendo. Her car is very expensive. So uh, both, it sounds like they're expensive. For example, I could say like, we have a, what? Uh, I don't know, a purse, una cartera. Okay. Um, it could say like this poor is uh, it is a guess. It is expensive. Hmm? I don't know, probably fifty dollars, something like that. It is expensive. Okay, but Michael course are very expensive. Una cartera Michael course, which it doesn't make sense porque no son buenas. I'm sorry si alguien le gusta. So uh, I guess purse is expensive porque tenemos podemos tener un pajarito. Okay, but of course, I guess Porsche is expensive, $50. The other one, the Porsche that is Michael Kors is very expensive. Yes, because it can cost around $200. Puede costarle $200 si no es que más una Michael Kors. It doesn't make sense for me. No tiene sentido. So it is totally different. It's not the same to pay $50 than $200, right? Okay, I'm making an emphasis on this. Okay, now let's continue. It's not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they're organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means... Okay, let's going to see... Uh, Marcela, no. Lorena Janet Peña. No le ha pasado, ¿verdad? Sí. No. Ok. Could you please read this one? Which means more than you want. So we usually use it with nearly I. Ok. So there, there are... Ok, hold on, please. We have here, yes, this, that is um, like an, what can I say? Uh, like an adverb. And when do we use, which, may, when, which means more than you want. So we usually use it with negative adjectives. Ojo, no precisamente es que usamos un adjetivo negativo, como decir feo, eh, bobo. No, 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 no. Ya vamos a ver más allá. Simplemente que ocasiona un problema o algo negativo. Ok. So it is says here. This dress is too big for me. For example, Carla, Carla is a thin woman. Okay? Ella es una persona delgada. I can lend my dress. Le puedo prestar mi, mi, mi vestido. My dress is, wow, it's super uh, pretty. It's a great dress. However, when she take it, she would say, no, I can't use it. This is too big for me. Okay? And she's like this. I can use it. I can wear this dress. And I was like, for me, it's perfect. It's my dress. For me, it's perfect. For her, it was just, it's too big. It's demasiado grande. Okay. So meaning that the dress won't fit on her. No va hasta allá en ella, ¿verdad? So please be careful when we use this word that is too, ojo, por favor. This word exactly that is too is a negative form or something negative the word describing something that it uh it becomes on a problem for us okay it says more than you want 
más de lo que esperábamos, más de lo que queríamos. Yes. Now let's go to see something. Hold on, please. More than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck. Now, I just have a question for you guys. Tengo una pregunta para ustedes. ¿Se entendió de momento lo que era la diferencia entre el to y el very? Creo que no quedó algo claro, ¿verdad? Porque ambos son como demasiado. Now, let me see something. Hold on, please. As I was telling you before, el to, y creo que por favor eso lo tomen muy en cuenta, que el to ocasiona un problema. Hold on. Hi, in this video. Oh, Hi, on. in this video. I do apologize. My, my, my ad. Let's talk about this chart. From the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want. The adverb too, which means more than you want. So we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me. Meaning, the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the oh, explanation on, and the audio program, well, it I doesn't want you to matter, make sentences guys. using the adverbs okay. presented in the small chart. I'm sorry, lo que quería era mostrarles exactamente una parte, okay? That is the difference between very and to, okay? Uh, that's going to say here. Vamos a parar aquí. So, if you can check as it was told before, we have the thing that is the adjective, the another one that is to say very, and the other one that is an adverb also that is to, which means again something negative. For example, it's not the same as I was talking about the pores before. It's not the same to say like a guest purse than to say a Michael uh, course purse. Okay, for example, guest purse is expensive, fifty dollars. Uh, Michael Kors purse is very expensive, two hundred dollars. And we have another one that it would be like a, a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton that is five thousand dollars, which it doesn't make sense for me. I'm sorry, no sé para ustedes chicas. But for example, you can say, ah, oh, now nah, this guest is nice. I would buy this one. It's expensive, but I like it. Voy a comprar esta cartera, okay? Pero su es bonita, okay? Then to say, I want that purse. Oh, it's very expensive. I'm going to save money. Voy a ahorrar dinero because I want that purse. Porque quiero esa cartera. But it's very expensive, come on. Una cartera de 200 y algo de dólares. It's very expensive, but I want it. Es bastante cara, es muy, es muy cara. But I won't pay $5,000 for a Louis Vuitton. I would never do it. That's insane for me because it's too expensive, which is not in my budget. I will never buy a purse of $500 or $400 or $300. Yo, yo, en lo personal, hay chicas que se ahorran porque quieren eso. Para mí, eso es absurdo. Lo mismo con los chicos. Okay. For example, ¿dónde están? Solo veo niñas aquí, Dios mío. Bendito entre todas las mujeres, Isael. Okay. Solamente, y Mauricio, ¿verdad? Y Jason se desapareció. Wow. Yo creo que era Jason quien conozco. Well, never mind. Okay. For example, guys, it's not the same that you want to get a pickup because you like pickups. Le gustan los pickups. Then to get a pickup, Isuzu. Ah, well, Isuzu pickups are expensive, but I'm going to buy it. Pero me lo voy a comprar. Then to say, uh, L200 Mitsubishi, yes, that is. And el de 200 es porteros, es portero, is very expensive. 
pero hay algunos que se quieren dar ese lujo, tener un Mitsubishi Sportero L200, dar big trucks o big pickups, unos eh, pickups grandes. Pero el too expensive, it is the excess of your project. Es un problema. Because you want a Homer. Y una Homer cuesta alrededor de 30 mil dólares, si no me equivoco, 40 mil dólares. Algo similar, ¿no? Una camioneta de esas grandotas, las Homer. Ok. No lo sé, saquenme la duda. But it is too expensive. Para eso compro la mitad en la casa o algo similar. Which it doesn't make sense, right? Ok. So, ¿se entiende la diferencia entre el very y el too, de momento? Yes. Eh, lo voy a decir en español para ver si, si logré asimilar lo que usted explicó. Entiendo que el very es cuando tengo está una marca cara y tengo la otra, pero está más cara. Y el two bit es como es muy caro para mí en lo personal. ¿Sí? No okay. para otras personas, sino que Fíjese, para mí. Sí, sí, exactamente. Okay. Porque, por ejemplo, lo que ponía alguna chica, la que la vi delgadita, entonces para mí mi vestido es perfecto. Puedo tener un perfecto vestido de diseñador, lindo y todo, que toda la gente dice, wow, te ves súper elegante. Y en ella me dice, quiero llegar un vestido. Y está de lo feliz, qué lindo. But when she tries on her, but teacher, this is too big. Está demasiado grande. So that's a problem for her. But for me, it fits perfectly. Es de diseñador y todo es perfect. Okay, so as you told before, there are several people not here, obviously. Eh, bastante gente que sí compran que Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton, etc., etc., etc. Yo nunca voy a comprar eso. Y aunque lo tuviera, preferiría donarlo que gastar 5 mil dólares o 7 mil dólares en eso. Preferiría ayudar a la gente. So, it depends on you. It's up to you. Okay. So, exactly. What about the tall? ¿Qué opinan de lo alto? Qué bonito será el torda. Okay. I'm 69. Okay. I think that I am very tall for some guys. Okay. And I want some guys, que feo lo que estoy diciendo, but they are very small and I'm too tall for them. Y lastimosamente soy muy alta para ellos. Okay. If which it doesn't, it's not good. Okay. Now, by the other hand, there are some small houses here in El Salvador, y ya lo he visto, que hay casas que son pequeñas y que viene una persona basquetbolista. Ellos, por su cuenta, en otros países son altos y está perfecto. But if they come to our house, they are too tall. Y no pueden agarrar nada, están así, no pasan ni por la cuenta. Nunca han visto eso, que son tan altos que tienen que agacharse. So, they are too tall, okay? It just doesn't make sense. Even on the truck, on the car, they are too tall to enter into my car. Son bastante altos. Ya me costó un problema para que entren a mi carro. It's just an example. And as you say, es un dato importante como lo mencionó la compañera. It could be like as perception. ¿Ok? Por de ser una, uh, una percepción. Puede ser que fulanita solo se coma tres tacos y entonces al cuarto taco ya la va a intoxicar, ¿sí? Porque hay gente que se intoxica de comer tanto, a mi hermano le pasó eso. Y vengo yo, lo cual amo los tacos, y me como nueve tacos. For her, it was too many tacos, there were too many tacos. For me, that's not too many. I usually eat eight to nine tacos, okay? So perception or how does it work, okay? Besides that, do you have any questions? Okay, perfect. Let's go to proceed with this. Now, continue with the adverbs. Let me see, it's just another check. Ahorita no vamos a ver esto. Vamos a ver lo que les tengo aquí. Okay, we have something that is called adverbs of manner. Okay, it says that we usually describe or we use the adverb of manner to describe how do we do the action, the way of the action or it comes with an adjective. We are describing something here, okay? Now, okay? So it comes with an adjective. We are describing the action. We have slow, that was an adjective. Special is an adjective, okay? Strong is an adjective. Easy is an adjective. But adding ly, it comes an adverb. 
this gift. I bought it. Selling for you. Okay. She is slow. When she runs, she's slow. Okay. She runs slowly. Okay. Vamos a ver incluso esto. She's slow. She's very slow. Slow. Too slow to enter. To, uh, to go to the champions. To go to the champions. To go to the champions. Okay. She's a slow on swimming. She's very slow on swimming. She's... Okay, so we have this the adjective. She's a slow on swimming. Puede ser rápido para unas cosas, para correr, etc. But she's slow on swimming. Es lenta en natación. For another person, it could be like someone that is for in the el estadio. It could say like, she's very slow, but she's good. Es muy lenta, pero ¿eh? está bien. Okay. But if we have anyone to that curve, go to the champions or las olimpiadas o algo similar, that person that is the competitive person or los que están ahí, que son los uh, participantes de esas olimpiadas, they will say, she's too, too slow to go to the champions. Para nosotros no fue el slow, para nosotros es rápida. Para el que estuvo en el, en el deportivo o, o en el estadio, whatever, okay, ella era lenta, okay, muy lenta, and there was too slow, okay. This was another thing. She runs or she swims slowly. ¿De qué manera lo hace? La forma lenta, ¿verdad? That is the adverb manner. This gift is special. I bought it especially for you. Okay? It's talking about... Este regalo es especial. ¿Por qué? Porque lo compré especialmente para ti. Sí? Okay? So exactly what do you make the action? Not always how do you do the action. Lo ocupamos espacially. ¿Qué dice aquí? Special. Spatially. Come on, kiss key. Spatially. I think that it's okay. Yes. Ah, there you go. That kiss the knee. <laughs> okay, there you go. Era la E. Espacialmente es una cosa. Okay, there you go. Era la E. Um, let's go to continue. Now, we have some rules. Tenemos algunas reglas para llevar a cabo lo que son los adverbios. In some way, Yes, um, we have a large amount of the cases. And so we, all of the adjectives or most of them, we just add the ly. So les agregamos la ly, la mayoría de ellos. Sí. Todo lo hacemos cheap, cheaply. Quick, quickly. Strong, strongly. Sudden, suddenly. Specially, specially. Okay. La l and y. Easy. Esto es en una larga cantidad o muchos de ellos. ¿Ok? Rule number two. La regla número dos. Ah, by the way. And there are some the adjectives there. I'm sorry. There are some sentences. They found a way to make clothes more cheaply. Make cheaply. ¿Ok? Many locals are strongly opposed to the development. I suddenly realized that what I say, but it was too late. Okay, this is especially good wine. Okay, now let's go to see the next one. Aquí ya tienen que ir prestando atención a cómo formular. Okay, adverse of manner, rule number two. If the adjectives continue, please, let me see uh, Mauricio Lima. Go ahead, please. Y the adjective came with 
play day with an I and like L U. If the adjective ends in Y, yes. Replace the Y with an I and add L Y. Okay. Ready? Terminating Y. We just add the L Y. Hold on, guys. Se me come la batería. Hold on, please. There you go. Okay. Okay, so we just add if it's not really ending. Come on. Seleccionar una hora. I do apologize. Esto no tengo como quitarlo ahorita. Estas. Okay. Ready, really, easily, crazy, crazily, happy, happily, um, hungry, hungrily. So if you realize here, solo le añadimos la ly, easy, easily. Okay, crazy, crazily, happy, happily. Okay, I do not want to translate literally. No quiero um, traducir literalmente, but it could be like, I'm happily married. Estoy felizmente casada. Okay, uh, hungrily. No sé, hambrienta. I don't want to translate that because it's, it's hard to explain this. However, you are going to find a way, de alguna manera, ven la manera, valga la redundancia en cómo utilizar esto, pues el que le describe. Estoy felizmente, eh, alocadamente, eh, ¿cómo se llama esto? O, oh, ¿cómo se dice? Fácilmente, etcétera, etcétera. But the most important thing is that you have to, um, you have to know and memorize this rule exactly. Now, could you please, oh, well, let's go to repeat this, please, guys. Easy, easily, repeat. Easy, easily. Okay, crazy, crazily. Crazy, 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 crazy. crazy. Happy, happily. Happy, happy, happily. Lazy, lazily. Lazy, lazily. Lazy, lazily. Lazy. Okay, hungry, hungrily. Hungry, hungry, hungry. hungry. Okay, excellent, excellent. There you go. Okay. There is just one guy here. So tenemos a uno. Yes, Mauricio está ahí. Yes. Okay. Okay, I just want to be uh, I just want to be sure that you were here. Okay, let's go into see something. And I have curiosity. Okay. Uh, Mauricio, could you please read this one? Number three. I don't know, Madam. Three. Could you please, uh, puede estar más cerca de, del micrófono que no se le escucha? If the, the adjective and with L and the plus the E, A, at the end. Okay, okay, okay. If the adjective ends with LE, replace the E at the end with Y. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Reemplazar la E. Okay. Con la Y. Because all the adverbs are going to be ending in Y. Todos los adverbios van a estar terminando en la Y. Okay, now, so we have here that is ending, these are the adjectives ending in E, okay? Está terminando en la letra E, L-E, there you go, yes, L-E. And it says replace the E, goodbye, yes, and just use it the Y, solo agregamos la letra E. ¿Por qué no le vamos a añadir la L? Porque ya está añadida aquí, ¿verdad? Ok, y recuerden que todos los adverbios terminan en el Y. Ok, now, forcible, forcibly, possibly, I'm sorry, possible, terminan en possibly. Ok, terrible, terrible, I'm sorry, terrible, terribly, comfortable, comfortably. Now, let's go and repeat with me, please, para más o menos la pronunciación. Possible, repeat. 
Terribly. Okay, comfortable. 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 Ok, no worries guys, que de igual manera esta clase les va a quedar. Guarda, lo que necesito es que sí se memoricen las reglas y las vamos a hacer más... Um, ahí tengo un resumen de cuando están las reglas más... Eh, puede ser más extraídas o como un pequeño resumen, no se preocupen. Ok. Uy, there we go. Okay, adverse of manner, could you please read this uh, Janet Astrid? If the adjective ends with I, C, mm -hmm. R, A, L, L, Y. There you go, excellent. I see. Esta es una regla yo en lo personal la considero bastante importante porque incluso créanme que a veces se nos olvida incluyéndome, me voy aquí. Because it says idiotic, tragic, basic, ironic. So, aquí pudiéramos cometer el error de decir like idiotically sin poner ninguna A y ninguna L. Ojo que se le va a añadir A L L Y, ¿ok? Idiotic, idioticly, double L en a Y. Tragic, no solo se le va a añadir una L y una Y, ¿no? We add an A L L Y, ¿ok? Tragic, tragically, ¿ok? Basic, basically. Esto se pronuncia como basically, la verdad. But it is with A-L-L-Y. Por eso le digo que es bastante importante memorizarse esta. Porque uno se va y se va a dejar ir. Y solo va a poner idiotically. Se va a ir, dejar por ir por ahí como suena. Tragically. Basically. Ironically. Pero no. Miren cómo se escribe. A-L-L-Y. Ok. Realistically. Ok. No decimos realistically. No, enthusiastically. Ok. Esto no se pronuncia. No se pusimos enthusiastically. I'm sorry, guys. Yo que solo this. I'm sorry. So, it is, and the section is public. Ok. What's that verb? is publicity. Let's go into, uh, eso es totalmente diferente, ¿verdad? Now, please repeat with me. Idiotic, idiotically. Idiotically. Ok. Tragic, tragically. Tragic, tragically. Basic, basically. Basic, basically. Okay. Ironic, ironically. Ironic, Realistic, realistically. Realistic, realistically. Excellent. Enthusiastic, enthusiastically. Enthusiastic, enthusiastically. Ok, 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 excelente. Let's go to see the next rule. La siguiente regla. Bueno, actually, those are the rules. I just have a software here. De hecho, esas son las, las reglas más. Ah, y quiero ver que hay unas excepciones, ¿verdad? Let me see, let me see. Let me just. No, no worries. Abajo tengo excepciones. No worries, guys. Ok. So, forming an adverb from adjectives. We have here that we have the adjective in the adverb. Aquí está tal cual se mencioné anteriormente, ¿ok? Como añadimos, y creo que es el más sustracto en, en otras palabras, resumidamente. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry, sé que los estoy uh, atiendo con esto. Esta era la número 5, antes que nada, perdón. This says, some adjectives do not change form at all. As fast, fast, straight, straight, hard, hard, high, high, late, late, wrong, wrong. 
Uh, before, antes de estar discutiendo esto con un grupo, si bien es cierto, podemos decir hard, podemos decir hardly, ¿ok? También podemos decir lately, depende de cómo vamos a utilizar, ¿ok? Ahora, hablando de esto, no todos cambian, pero depende de cómo lo vamos a utilizar. Simplemente mencionarlo, no está de más saber que no cambia. Sin embargo, depende del contexto. Solamente les menciono esto porque probablemente más de alguna vez y se lee hardly. Y la teacher dijo, no, no se, no se ocupa hardly. Otra vez veces van a terminar de escuchar lately, pero la teacher les dijo que no ocupen lately, lo cual no es correcto en el sentido que depende del contexto. Por ejemplo, uh, lately es como decir últimamente. Late es tarde, ¿verdad? Ya cambia completamente. Ok, so it depends on how are you going to use it. Now, siguiendo el resultado anterior, qué pena. Ok, continuando con lo otro. So it says forming an adjective once again. Aquí tenemos un sustracto de las reglas. In the large number, let's go to see Rosa, could you please read? Hola, hola, Rosa. No está. Ok. Vamos a pasar a Tania Hernández. Good evening, teacher. Eh, ¿Cuál es la que dijo que leyera? In a large. In a large number of the cases, the adverb can be formed by simply adding a L Y to the adjective. Could you please read the adjectives and the adverbs? Chips, uh, cheaply, quick, quickly, strong, strongly. Excellent, very good. Okay, Isael Villeda. Uh, teacher. Ajá. Ajá. Apareció. Ok. Go ahead. Tengo un problema con el micrófono. Yes. Seco. Uh, if the adjective ends in with Y, replace the Y with, uh, with an I and add L Y. Ok. Everyone, please repeat with me. If an adjective ends in. Excellent, yes. Okay, if an adjective ends in with, repeat. If an adjective ends in with, with, with. Okay, es solamente un poco palabras. Ahora, replace, please repeat with me, replace. Replace. Okay, replace. Okay. So we have some adjectives here that is ending with Y. It is a reemplazar. So when you say goodbye to this one and you add the I L Y. Si se queda como el adjetivo, se le diría como read sin la Y. Y a eso ya leímos el que. Ok. La venimos nuevamente. El. Um, readily. Le añadimos el. Y en add el y. Ok, lo sustituimos. En este caso se va la y y solo añadimos el i el y. Si termina con y, recordemos, no quiero que solamente le pongan eh, una l, así como decir readly, o una l y una y. No. I, l, y. I, l, y. Ok. Now please repeat with me. Read, I'm sorry. Ready, readly. Ready, 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 Mary, Merrily, Mary, 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 I'm sorry, Mary, 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 
No. Ok, vamos a ver qué más. ¿A quién me ha pasado que me levanto la manita? Ok. Jacqueline, go ahead. Ok. Um, the number four. Number three. Oh, sorry, number three. Keep the adjectives and with and with um, re, replace the e at the end with um, j. Uh, with um, y. Y. Sorry. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Could you please read the adjectives and the adverbs? Understar, um, unders. No worries, usted pronuncia, no importa. Usted siga, vamos. Understandable. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue. Um, forcible, possible. Mm -hmm. And the adverb. Understar, understandable, understandable. Continue. No sé por si, yes. si usted me lo pronuncia, si, si usted me lo pronuncia, usted me lo pronuncia, understandably, no importa. Aquí están para aprender. Si me lo pronuncia, okay. forcible, forcible, no importa. Usted siga. Thank you. Understand, understandable, forcible, possible. Okay, excellent. Now, let's go to repeat, please. Now, first of all, miren la regla, okay? Esto es, okay? It is ending in L-E, ending in L-E, I'm sorry, L-E. Understandable, forcible, okay, ending in L-E. Possible, ending in L-E. And what's the rule? Replace the E with by. A la E, la, nota, la quitamos. Ok, la quitamos, la quitamos. Replace the E at the end, que es la que está al final. Ok. okay. And substitute here, lo vamos a añadir por el L en Y. Ok. Lo vamos a poner, solo le vamos a añadir. Prácticamente quitamos la C y solo añadimos el LY. Okay, now let's go to repeat. Understandable. 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 Okay, understandable. Okay, it's uh, some simple syllabus. Let's go to repeat step by step. Understandable. 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 Excellent, excellent. Ahí va. Otra vez. Understandable. Understandable. Excellent, very good. Okay, understandable. Understandably. Okay, understandably. Understandably. Okay, excellent. Once again, understandably. Understandable. Understandable. Okay. Forcible. 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 Excellent. Forcible. 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 Regla aquí que incluso para mí, créanme que es difícil. En lo personal se me memorizan las cosas por leyéndolas bastantes veces. Y yo tengo ahorita, y tenía tiempo de no ver esto, la verdad. Soy sincera. Por eso es que lo veo como difícil ahorita. It says, if the adjective ends in IC, termina en la IC, add Ali, ok, añade, no, ok. A L L Y. So, it is. Prácticamente es idiotic. Y le va a añadir automáticamente la A, L, L, Y. Ojo, no se les olvide la A, L, L, Y. Cuando terminen en C. Ok. Now let's go to repeat. 
Idiotic. 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 Okay, idiotically. 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 Tragic. Tragic. Tragically. Tragically. Basic. Basically. 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 Okay, there you go. And it says, la numero cinco. Okay, could you please... Teacher, teacher, a question. Okay, okay. Eh, eh, basic, eh, basic. Yes. Es como una amuda. Y, y es como una amuda. Y idiotic y traje, eh, si se menciona la A, es correcto. Idiotically. No dije idiotically. Porque dijeron idiota, idiotically y tragically. Y, y es idiotically, tragically y basic. Dije, dije, mencionamos el cali. Sí. Ya me sacó de... Entonces yo entendí que era, era como muda. Idiotically... Tragically, basically. Me ha servido la computadora, la Sofía, por eso se Me ha servido la computadora para hacer las tareas. Solamente ahorita, porque es la de la máxima, me ha agarrado. Era un chiquito, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. No worries, guys. Para salir de la duda de un solo, porque no quiero mentirles. Ok. Porque el otro try. No quiero mentirles, sí, verdad. Lo vamos a hacer todos juntos. Mejor a caer de un solo. Ok, translate. Yo sí pongo ese. Ok, tragically. Bye. Tragically. Tragically. Ok. Sí. Y mencionamos en todo el Cali. Sí, en dos. En tragically, idioticali. Y es. Es idiotic, tragically, en basically. Tragically, mi basically. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, ok. Y no sé, es que estoy segura, perdón, que en el inglés británico creo que ha sido, si se ocupa el a l l what, idiotically, se lo voy a averiguar, se lo voy a mandar, porque estoy segura que también lo he escuchado, no sé si en el inglés británico, porque acuérdense. Sí, lo que pasa es que hay uno que pronuncia casi todo. El británico, creo que pronuncia todo. Idiotically. Yes, let's go to go for the American. No worries, guys. Y no se preocupen que igual es el mismo inglés, solo es la pronunciación, es lo mismo. Hasta donde yo sé, no creo que ninguna estructura cambie. Okay, now let's go to continue, please. So it says that there are some adjectives that it doesn't change as fast and fast, straight, straight, hard and hard. Now, estamos viendo con el otro grupo y no quiero mentirles porque si existen que van a escuchar el hardly. ¿Verdad? Hard and hardly, que también lo van a escuchar. Puede ser como adverb también y pueden también ser como la L y. Y así hay cosas que también lo van a escuchar, que si no todos son, um, no todos exactamente terminan. Aquí está la lista, vean. Esta es otra. Son adjectives do not change. Por ejemplo, eh, dice que no cambia la regla, sin embargo, ustedes van a escuchar en diferentes cosas, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, highly recommend, lo más recomendado, ¿verdad? Ok, late, lately, ¿verdad? Entonces hay cosas que yo no concuerdo, sin embargo, si buscan las cinco reglas, es algo confuso. Si sí está eh, fast, fastly, also. Now, straight, straightly, I have never heard straightly. Hard, hardly, yes. Entonces es algo que ustedes sean más o menos autodidactas, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Hard or hardly. Y es también depende del contexto. Ya si ustedes quieren salir de la duda porque más de una ocasión lo han escuchado, ok, es diferente. I worked very hard last week, ok, and the other one puede ser también hardly. Puedes estarte preguntando qué significa hardly. Significa only just, ok, casi nada, ¿verdad? It's hardly, there is hardly, there are some, hardly some grapes in today refrigerator okay um let me see the thing guys is that you must be um 
to find, okay, that's a delicious, okay, hard, like try to find one. I don't want to get confused, no quiero confundir más mejor, no. Okay, so if you have seen that case, en el caso ven ese material, si lo ven y lo han visto con una L y, en este caso tómenlo tal cual, pueden buscarlo como Y y buscar el significado, ¿verdad? Porque no siempre se dice que, que es igual, se mantiene, puede cambiar, depende del contexto. Le decía uno, por ejemplo, can, 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 también depende del contexto, ¿verdad? Me preguntan, pero teacher, ¿qué no se supone que can o can es poder? Sí, pero también existe can de lata, can de canino y can de poder. Y los tres se escriben iguales. So I usually give examples like the, the can can eat the can of food. El canino puede comer la lata de comida. Okay. So, well, until now, that will be all for today. And it's a pleasure. Ya son las 10 y 4. Creo que todos estamos mirando el sueño. So goodbye, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Kenisha. Bye, guys. Bye, -bye. 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 Bye, -